Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be new Will I Buy It. This is my series I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over all the new makeup releases and let you know what I'm planning to buy and pass over. I always link my playlist down below in the community playlist and let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome, welcome to a new week. Let's hop into the OOTD. So today I have on these like olive green pants, they zip in the back here i got these forever ago from like i don't know, fashion nova or windsor or something and i never had the guts to wear them in iowa i don't know there's you know kind of different <laughs> and then i just have on this kind of like basic nude top i got this from express i believe it was in my last express clothing haul where i did like a shop with me in vegas so that is all that i have on today i didn't do any filming on my makeup but i link everything down below um i have on the new tinted sunscreen from what am I trying to say? Tower 28. I have it mixed in with the Anastasia foundation. I have the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette on my eyes because I'm getting ready to film my makeup monthly. So I really want to have that review included in there. I have on the new Makeup by Mario lip products that I did, that I tried in my last trying new makeup video. But again, I will link everything down below. But I will go ahead and scoot over and we will get started. So I actually have a couple items that I received in PR and I'm gonna go over those first. Um, I started doing this in my Will I Buy It a few months ago where if I got anything in PR that I hadn't talked about yet, I would show it in the beginning so I could chat about it a little bit. But we have a special edition for this week's Will I Buy It video. And that includes a giveaway. We are starting to get closer to holiday time, which means the giveaways are going to start rolling in. I typically do 12 days of giveaways in December. I am planning to do that again, but I'm planning to do some pop-up giveaways throughout the month of November also. So I will just be randomly including giveaways in some of my YouTube videos. Also over on my Instagram, um, either in the posts or in the stories. So make sure to check stories. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just really excited to be doing some giveaways, but I received this in PR from Sigma Beauty. This is 12 days of Sigma. And then inside we have a little advent calendar here. I love advent calendars. I think that these are such a fun idea, such a great gift idea. So when I received this, you know, I am um, on Sigma's um, PR list. I get a lot of their products. I'm an affiliate with them. I have my own collaboration with them, which has just been restocked. My favorites collection with Sigma Beauty is restocked and available again on the website. That includes the rosy eyeshadow palette and three of my favorite eye brushes. So the collection did sell out, which was very cool for me. And the team said that we could bring it back. So that just went live, so I will have it linked down below. But when they sent me this, I knew immediately that I could put it into a giveaway and have one of you win it. But to tell you a little bit about this, um, it's their advent calendar. It's $100 and it's a $185 value. And this is available now on the Sigma website. So again, I'll link it down below. My code with them is Samantha if there's anything that you're looking to purchase. And inside we do have, you can see the products on here. We have makeup, we have brushes, the spicy eyeshadow palette is in here, a mascara. Um, there's also some brush cleaner, which I am pulling out my brushes to clean today, which I'm very excited about. Pulled out my Sigma brush cleaner to do that. So again, this is available now if you are interested in it or if you are interested in winning this one, um, it's pretty simple to enter into my giveaways. All you have to do is make sure that you are a subscriber here. If you like the video, that's always awesome. And then just leave a comment down below and just make sure to include the hashtag Sam Squad in your comment. If you don't wanna enter, but you wanna comment about something else on the video, just don't include that hashtag. If you're looking to enter, you can enter Sam Squad. And to get a bonus entry, that is if you follow me on Instagram, which my Instagram is March Beauty Word. And again, I'll be doing pop-up giveaways in November through December over on my Instagram and in my stories. So if you follow me on Instagram, please just leave your Instagram name in your comment so we can double check that. But that is all you have to do to enter. I will leave that all down below and I will choose a winner before next Wednesday's Will I Buy It goes up and I will ship you out the 12 Days of Sigma Advent Calendar. All right, next up, the other item that I received in PR that I would talk about this week. This is a new launch from BK Beauty. I'm so excited about this. This is my friend Lisa J Makeup's brand. So they just, and they have amazing brushes. I used the bronzer brush today, used the powder brush today, used one of the eye brushes today. Fantastic eye brushes, but they just launched lip products. Some of my favorite things. I'm so happy about this. So we have the Everlast Lip Liner. These retail for $12. Oh, I'm so excited. These just showed up, but I'm so excited to use these. So this is what the lip liners look like. So nice. So they kind of have more um, 
kind of reminds me maybe a little bit of the Patrick Ta lip liner I think is what I'm thinking of or what the lip liner actually looks like and then for the lipsticks let me double check I believe it's $12 and $22 but yeah $12 and then the luxe lipstick is going to be $22 and I can just tell from the even just holding the box like the, the lipsticks are really weighty okay all right and then for the lipsticks the luxe lipsticks here is what that looks like oh i'm trying not to mess anything up here so the luxe lipsticks it says creamy long lasting impact with pigment all bk beauty luxe lipsticks are infused with apricot oil to nourish and moisturize your lips throughout the day all right so those are the luxe lipsticks for 22 and then the lip liner says a rich pigmented lip liner that glides on like a dream while keeping lip lips soft and moisturized throughout the day so these are available now on the BK Beauty website. So again, I will have that link down below. Thinking of maybe doing like a swatch video on Instagram, I could maybe post it to YouTube as a shorts video. Uh, maybe something along those lines so I can, you know, show what they actually look like on the lips and the different shades and everything. But thank you so much to BK Beauty and Lisa for sending these over. I'm so excited to try them out. Alrighty, so to jump into the other new releases, I believe last week I also filmed on a Monday. I usually try to film these on Tuesdays. Um, just to have you know as many new releases as I can talk about but I was getting my extensions moved up on Tuesday which is pretty much an all-day thing and this was announced like right after I finished filming and I was super bummed that I couldn't include it but it is and I'm, I'm going golfing tomorrow so that's gonna be my day oh boy um, but we have um, the Halloween collection from Colourpop and Disney so this was another Disney collab I think I talked about Morphe and Disney last week and I had some funny comments that I saw of like Disney is collabing with everyone right now. We'll just wait for it because we're going to talk about Disney some more. But this was a ColourPop's Halloween collection, The Nightmare Before Christmas with a black light activated packaging. Obviously a big question, have I seen The Nightmare Before Christmas? No. Um, no. And I was like looking at the packaging because I thought it reminded me of something, but I don't know what I think it reminded me of. Maybe that movie, what's that movie? He wears like black and white stripes and he's got like crazy hair. It's not Frankenstein. It's a, uh, oh my gosh, I know what it is. Just skip, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I think it reminded me of Beetlejuice, which I haven't ever actually seen the full Beetlejuice movie, but I remember my mom wouldn't let me watch it when it came up at one point and then I just never watched it or had the urge to watch it. But Nightmare Before Christmas, nope, that's a no for me, dog. So never seen that. But we had eyeshadow palette, there was Jelly Much Shadows, Glitterly Obsessed, Alex Lipsticks, BFF Liquid Liner, a sponge, and face crystals. And the full collection was $115. Um, so yeah, nothing really called out to me that from this one. You know, we always get a lot from ColourPop. I'm not familiar with the collaboration. Halloween makeup usually doesn't do much for me, like Halloween collections. Just not really my particular style, my particular vibe. Uh, so I knew that that was going to be a pass for me. And then another collection that we have from ColourPop that was just announced, this is the Quartz Collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette with nine shades, pressed, three pressed glitter shadows, three lippy sticks, and two crema colors. Right now, all I see is coming soon. You know, it's pretty, the palette kind of gives me like, that's taupe, um, the going coconuts kind of vibe, but kind of like a darker side of that, like a little bit deeper side of it. It's pretty, I like, I, you know, I like crystals, so that's fun like the collection idea is fun for me the pressed glitters I, I really wouldn't wear the lippy sticks probably not gonna totally be for me the creme colors I mean it's cute I like the packaging I like the concept behind it I'm always down for a good neutral palette but it just wasn't something that stirred my makeup lines Let's just get it all out of the way, all the roasting out of the way with these collaborations. So we have a new collaboration with the, Net the Netflix show Emily in Paris by Lancome. So celebrating the upcoming season two, we have a heart-shaped eyeshadow palette with a gold Eiffel Tower. What? Who? What am I trying to say? With an Eiffel Tower charm, 12 shades and three color families. Um, the Monsieur Big Mascara, the Advanced Genifique Serum, uh, lipsticks, and also a perfume available in November. Have I seen Emily in Paris? No. Do I know what it is? Yes. But I feel like I know what it is in like not a good way. I remember thinking that I kind of wanted to watch it and I think it came out either during quarantine or around quarantine or maybe it was just like during quarantine I was like I'm really bored and I want to watch some shows like I watched Bridgerton during quarantine which was a <laughs> great decision honestly I remember thinking oh I'll watch this one it seemed like something I would be interested in and then 
like all the reviews on it were absolutely terrible and I was like never mind <laughs> like I don't feel like anyone had anything good to say about that show so I was like mm, I'm not gonna watch it so I didn't uh, so yeah, I'm not familiar with the collaboration. Um, the palette to me just kind of looks a little bit lackluster. Like it, I don't think that's really doing anything for me. Um, for the other products, the Monster Big Mascara, I actually don't like. I know a lot of people really like it. The serum, you know, I probably don't need right now. And then the lipsticks and the perfume, just not really going to be for me. Cute packaging, once again, I like, you know, the Paris vibes behind it. It even has it on the serum, so that's super cute, but it's not going to be one for me. This just got announced, and I'm having a lot of fun because, like, as I'm speaking, the comments are starting to roll in. So I'm already having a great time screenshotting and sharing on my stories. But we have a new collaboration for holidays with iHeart Revolution and Elf. So we have um, the OMG Palette Book Collection, the Palette Ninny Muggins, a Candy Cane a Lip Gloss, Smiling's My Favorite Lip Care Duo. There's a Candy Cane Forest Bomb True. Half of these things, I don't even know what they are. Eye glistens, primers, highlighters, fixing sprays, a brush set, a makeup bag, body spray, bubble drizzle, snowball bath, fizzers, and need a hug body butter. Will be available November 4th. Elf is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> Elf is one of my favorite movies. Whenever that movie is on, I can't not watch it like I if I, and I don't really do this anymore because now I just have like Hulu but when I had like regular cable and stuff and I'd be like flipping through the channels and seeing what's on if Elf was on it was like you had to watch it it's just it's so funny <laughs> like it's so funny so I absolutely adore Elf as a movie please tell me I get like some bonus points <laughs> like please like not only do I know it I've seen it a bajillion times I will continue to keep watching it and it's a favorite of mine like I think I get a lot of points for this one okay <laughs> okay uh, and also, I don't know if anyone saw, I posted it on like Instagram and TikTok. Oh, I also, I did post a YouTube shorts here on YouTube. I went as a Power Ranger for Halloween. Me and my friends were the Power Rangers. I was the yellow one. And people were like, wait, has Sam seen the Power Rangers? Sure have. Power Rangers were a big favorite of mine. I was the pink Power Ranger when I was a kid. My brother was a blue Power Ranger. I love the Power Rangers. So like... Has there been a Power Rangers collab? Because I would know that one. But to go back to the ELF collaboration, I'm not a huge fan of Makeup Re or Makeup Revolution, iHeart Revolution, all of the Revolution brands. Um, the eyeshadow palette is really quite large. You know, maybe some of the body care products are like cute. I think a lot of this is like cute gifting ideas, like cute stocking stuffers. I love that the promo photos are, are super adorable. Um, you know, I think that's really funny. Maybe some of like the self-care items would be cute. But it, when it boils down to it, it's like, do I have to buy it right now? Probably not. You know, I've been buying quite a few makeup products. I just got my palette from Odin's Eye and Annette's Makeup Corner, which I'm excited about I'm trying to review the Glam Light. Just made it a Sephora order. I have the new Natasha palette that I'm reviewing. So nothing that I'm going to grab from this collection, but I've just, I was really excited. Like once I saw it pop up and it was Elf, I was like, I can't wait to tell everyone that's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> All right, there's a new collection coming from Melt Cosmetics. I'm probably not going to pronounce this correctly. The Amore Mariposas, a collection inspired by the comforting memories that you find after grieving a loved, a loved one lost, reminding you of the vibrancy of life. So all, right, all I see right now is there's going to be an eyeshadow palette, lipsticks, mirror brushes, and more, and coming soon to the website. But we have quite a few um, photos that Trend Mood 1 um, put into this collage here. Not a lot from Melt Cosmetics tends to turn my attention. Some of their collections just aren't, you know, totally my makeup vibes. I know a lot of my friends really love Melt and get so excited for all of their collections, but it's really hard. And I, I did purchase their sex foil and I really, I didn't love it. So I don't know. Um, again, we don't have all the details. We don't have all the prices yet. But just kind of from what I'm seeing, I don't think anything is going to turn my attention. You know, I can revisit it, you know, probably next week or whenever we have prices or maybe a little bit more details but for right now i i don't think that it's gonna be one for me we also have a sneak peek from natasha denona this is the new glam face palette it includes two face creams a blush and glow and five eyeshadows right now all i see is coming soon and i'll put the photos in here but they're not really the best photos like we can kind of get an idea of it but once again, I'm going to have to revisit this in the future. I just got so many tags on it. I didn't want to completely avoid it in this week's Will I Bite video. But I'm definitely very curious about it. You know, the bottom looks like one of her mini eyeshadow palettes. And then to have two face palettes, I'll, or two face shades. I'll be curious to see, you know, will the face shades work for me? Is this the only palette we're getting? Is there going to be multiple, you know, for across multiple skin tones? I'm not really sure. Um, 
you know, we just have to see a little bit better detail, get some pricing on it, but I'm interested. I did a double take, I'm interested. We're just gonna have to see a few more details. Some new products are coming from Lisa Eldridge. So we have new products for face and eyes, the Seamless Skin Foundation and the Liquid Lyrics Eyeshadows. Right now, all I see is coming soon to November. So once again, probably will need a little bit more detail on this. What type of foundation is it? Um, it's really hard, like I'm trying to like zoom in Seamless skin makes me think it's a very natural coverage, maybe a little bit more of a light coverage foundation. I'm not totally sure though. Then we have these liquid shadows. So I'm actually in the middle of, I'm looking at it right now. I'm editing my video that went up yesterday and that is a new makeup declutter on all of my single shadows. And not only did I declutter a lot, I decluttered over half of my collection, but I really decluttered a lot of my liquid shadows like this. I just don't use these products a lot. So I know that would be a no for me. I have been wanting to try Lisa's lip products. So I'm really curious to get some more info on the foundation because I'm thinking maybe I could order the foundation and some of the lip products and try them out. I'm just guessing by the name that it might be something that I like. So I'll uh, you know keep watching for more info on that also. And then we have uh, from Beauty Bay, we have additions to their Disney color collection inspired by Disney's classic film scenes. They pulled out all the colors and transformed them into a color collection. So we have mini eyeshadow palettes for $11, also a cosmetics bag for $11. So again, more Disney. We got a lot of Disney going on lately. Uh, nothing that really inspires me though, like looking at everything, nothing that really gets me. Like I said last week, I'm not a huge Disney person, so that would be something that I can skip over. Uh, there's a new lipstick from Besame Cosmetics. This was also for Halloween. Last week I talked about their spider compact that they had, but they also have a black spider lipstick. It says, inspired by the style and elegance of Victorian Gothic fashion, a sheer blackberry tone lipstick with a berry flavor. It goes on black and adjusts to your personal pH for your own signature deep berry shade. So this is $28. Interesting concept, you know, it's kind of wild to like look at the black lipstick, but then it actually turns out to be a berry shade on your lips. I don't go for like the berries like a whole ton, so I can't imagine I would get a lot of use out of that lipstick. So that would be something that I can pass on. Uh, we have some new additions from 2M Cosmetics. We have new highlighters in Sunscape. Um, all I see is includes a few shades right now coming soon to the website, so I don't have a price. These look really beautiful. They almost look to be more of a baked formula, perhaps. I'm not sure, just guessing based on you know the photo that I see. Um, and again, don't have the price for this. I do like M Cosmetics. I placed an, an order with them recently. Um, I still use their lip liner quite a bit, their uh, cushion foundation, like the tinted SPF. Do I need a new highlighter right now? Not particularly. So probably gonna be one that I can pass over. Uh, there was a new trend mood box. Let's see, this is dropping. Oh, so this would have dropped last Thursday. So the trend mood box, you know, I read from trend mood one every week. Sophie's always been really kind to me. She sent me a few of the trend mood boxes, which is always really exciting, but they just released a volume 13 of the trend mood box. So big congrats there. These are all full size products. It was only $55 and a $243 value, which is wild. So inside was the Caudalie, uh, their pure purifying gel cleanser, Lily Lashes, a lash enhancing serum, Love Kinship, their uh, eye cream and also their salicylic acid treatment from Danessa Meyer, the infinite chrome flakes. Oh, that's a sold, like it even says here, sold out products. That's really cool. From pharmacy, the honeymoon glow, AHA, BHA resurfacing body serum from Diana Madison beauty, the glow factor sheet mask. Okay. So that's really cool. So for the trend mood box, again, that's a really great price. $55 for a $243 value. I would be most interested in that Danessa Myricks products. Cause I was kind of bummed that they sold out. Um, and also the pharmacy product. Those would be about the only two that I would really be interested in for myself. So it wouldn't be a good box for me to purchase. Um, but I will link the trend mood, you know, a box website down below. Um, they also have their own Instagram too. So you can always check and see what they're coming out with. And it is, you buy the boxes on an individual basis. It's not like a subscription, which I actually really enjoy because I'm not a huge fan of subscriptions, but once again, it looks like a pretty cool box. Even more Disney, we have from Spectrum for holiday, we have Disney brush sets. Each set includes six mini brushes for foundation, cheeks, eyes, and brows. And it's going to be $43. There's Ursula, Cruella, Minnie Mouse, Marie, and the Evil Queen. Right now I just see coming soon to the website. Disney is just all over the place these days. Um, you know, I haven't tried Spectrum Cosmetics. I don't really need new brushes at this moment in time. So I know that I could pass over that one. Uh, from Shantakai for holiday, I think I talked about the highlighter in one video, but there's even more. These are all limited edition. 
These are all packaged in a covetable compact encrusted with pearl baubles. So we have the Lumiere, the Lumiere, uh, which is $110. That's their highlighter balm. The Lumiere Eye Sheen for $75 and the Rouge Pearl for $75. All right, so I know I talked about the highlight and the 110, and that was, you know, that's pretty pricey for a highlight. I absolutely adore the packaging. I love pearls. I'm a huge fan. So I love the packaging on everything. I think it's so gorgeous. Like, I would love to have that compact sitting there. But even 75 and 75, I just... That's gonna be too pricey for me. So even though I think that it's beautiful and you know, I hear great things about Chantecaille, but it's just gonna be a little bit out of my price range at this moment for what it is. And you know, it's just my personal decision. So I would pass over that. Uh, I do see the first drop from Rose and Ben Beauty. So this is created by Rose and Ben, who's such a talented, a, just such a talented human and so kind and so I talked about the launch of her brand in a past will I buy it video but now we have the first drop and they are brushes so we have the bronzer brush is 38 the shading and blending eyeshadow brush is 25 blush brush 35 blending crease brush is 25 the concealer foundation brush is 26 and inner corner highlight brush is 22 concealer brush 22 and the pointed liner brush is 20 and these are all cruelty free this is so exciting Okay. This is very exciting. Uh, just a huge congratulations. The brushes look really beautiful. I know I just said that I don't need new brushes and I definitely don't, but I'm also really excited about this. I think maybe I'm going to grab the bronzer brush, the eyeshadow brush, probably the blush brush, the blending crease. I think that's probably all that I need. Can you buy them in a bundle? It doesn't say that you can buy them in a bundle, but maybe... If you can, I will put that down below because maybe the bundle would just be easier. But I might grab a few ind individual brushes. I would like to support. I think this is a really exciting thing. Um, and I just love to see it. It's, it's, it's very exciting to see things like this. So yeah, I'm going to link the website down below if you're interested. And then a couple releases that I saw on Indie Makeup Spotlight. One is that Ace Beauté has launched their new palette. And this is their Tropical Vibes palette. Okay. Uh, let's see inspired by the tropics. We wanted to bring you the ultimate green palette that ensures you keep serving look keep, That ensures you keep serving up looks for days So this is going to be a $38.99. This is a really beautiful palette You know a lot of greens, you know definitely like that tropical like jungle vibe to it. It is gorgeous I might be more interested in it if I didn't just purchase the dirty martini palette Which is also a very green palette so I just don't think that I would need it at this time. So I'm going to pass over that one, but I do think it's really beautiful. I haven't tried Ace Beauté. I do not believe so. And then also another new release. This is from Menagerie Cosmetics. They are coming out with their Polar Lights highlighters. And these are $15. It looks like they're both out of stock as of right now. Um, the We have the Winter Solstice highlighter and also the Aurora Australis highlighter. So again, $15. I can link the website down below in case they come back by the time um, this video goes goes live and while they both look beautiful again I just don't really feel like I need uh, a new highlighter at this moment so I would pass over that and then I see a new release from Desi Skin so this is Desi Perkins skincare line so she is coming out with the mask on a powerful sleep mask that works to hydrate tighten and revitalize the skin for a plumper looking radiant complexion the next morning will be available November 2nd on the website I did try the vitamin C from Desi Skin and I didn't really love it, but I also kind of realized that maybe my skin just doesn't love vitamin C anymore. So maybe it's not that particular product, but I also am on a prescription recently um, to help with my hormonal acne. So I've really cut back on a lot of skincare and I use that product at night. So I don't think that that would be a good option for me at this time. So I'm going to pass on that. And then last thing that I have to talk about is actually a new brand from Jaclyn Hill, and she is launching a brand for jewelry and accessories. And this is called Jaclyn Roxanne, which I believe is her middle name. And this, let's see, we have a multitude of different necklaces. Looks like they're, the prices range from $40 up to $165 for what I believe is like quite a few different chains. There's also earrings. These look to be in price from $30 up to $65 will be available November 4th on the website. So congratulations to Jaclyn Hill. You know, I haven't really been keeping up with her a lot these days, but I see her videos pop up on my YouTube and it looks like maybe she's trying to make some some changes in her in her life. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure, but you know, I hope things are, are, are going well and now it looks like she has a new brand. So that's always really exciting. I've definitely been more into jewelry these days and 
I'm quite interested in some of these chains that she has coming out. I don't know why that's like what I'm interested in, but I wear the Adam Bold chain quite a bit from Ana Luisa. Um, and I get a ton of compliments in videos, in person. I feel like someone is always complimenting me on that chain. And so some of these look really nice. I don't know. I'm actually kind of interested in this one. I'm not like a, like I said, I don't really keep up with Jaclyn Hill all that much, but she has always worn beautiful jewelry and the prices don't seem too bad. I kind of was expecting them maybe to be a little bit higher, but I think she's come out with a YouTube video breaking all of them down. I might check that out because I still have a few days, you know, welcome to November, by the way. I still have a few days before it launches, but kind of interested in the, in the chains. So yeah, I might check that out, but I'll be curious, you know, what do you think about Jaclyn Hill coming out with another brand? She's a busy woman. I mean, you can say a lot of things about her and I've said some things, but I mean, she is a hard worker and looks to come out with a lot of stuff, which is pretty inspiring as another, you know, female entrepreneur. So, um, also just on that note real quick, I did launch some new merch. I posted that on my Instagram and also on the community tab, but I do have new merch that is available. The unbothered merch. I sneaked peeked this in my last Vegas vlog. I have a new vlog coming up soon. I did vlog last week, so a new vlog is coming. So that's up on my merch store. And then I also launched a coloring book. So this is just a three page digital download coloring book um, where you can just download the pages, print them out, and then color. So I will have those uh, linked down below as well, but just wanted to give those a quick shout out, but I'm gonna talk about them more in an upcoming video also. But other than that, that is it for today's video. This week's Will I Buy It? I would love to know what you think about the products that we talked about this week. And as always, if you it please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye